Hustin Cole is going viral on Instagram with his unique reel editing style. In this video, I'm going to break down his video editing style and we are going to recreate this scene. Though he uses the 3D camera options in After Effects, but we are going to create this in Premiere Pro. And all the assets which I have used in this video, you can download them from our Telegram group. The link is in the description section below. And the credit to these assets goes to these creators. So let's unleash the creative in you. First of all, we are going to create this first scene. And for this purpose, you need to have a Premiere Composer plugin installed. This is a free plugin. You can download and install it. And we are going to use this text preset, this one fade character. So we'll drop this fade character over here on our timeline. And we will go to the edit option and in the text and we'll change this text to has figured out. And then we will change this color to green. All right, this is how it looks. And the moment this text fully revealed from here, we'll move this playhead over here. Now we'll go to the effects panel, search for the transform 360 effect. You can find this in our telegram group. So drop it over here. Now let's go to the effects control panel and come down on the transform 360 effect. And we are going to create one keyframe on the rotation and move little bit further, something like this. And then we will rotate rotate it on the minus side something like minus I think 5 then we will go to the effects panel once again and this time we will find basic 3d effect and we will drop this on the text and we will keep our play hat on the first keyframe of the rotation and then we will move down and we will create one keyframe on the swivel and one on the tilt and then we will move our playhead to the second option and then we will set the swivel to like this minus 14 and tilt to minus 30 and now if we play it okay this is how it looks cool now we'll manipulate these keyframes so select all of these right click and select the auto bezier and click on these arrows to see the graphs and now grab one of these handle and make it something like this for the rotation and do the same for the swivel as well let's move down and on the swivel click on this arrow select these keyframes grab one of the handle and make it something like this so that it goes fast and then slow select the second one tilt and do the exact same for this as well now if we'll play our animation would be more smoother cool now let's move on to the second scene all right so for the second scene we will take a text tool or the type tool and type infinite money glitch and let's stylize it go to the essential graphics panel select the text change the font to Babers new bold and increase its size from here round 323 change the color to again green this green and let's center it align it centrally and align it vertically as well and decrease line gap with the help of this one something like this and let's cut this earlier text trim it to something like this now move your playhead to around three seconds and make a cut and increase the length of this text and in the first text just select it double click it and change the money to the dollar type four dollars over here so for a second it would be dollar and then it would change it to money now select both of these text layers right click and select next and call it money glitch now we need to animate this again we'll drag the transform 360 effect on this come to the transform 360 effect and keep your playhead in the beginning create one keyframe on the scale and one keyframe on the rotation and rotate it to something like this around 11 degree and then move your few frames something like this and reset the rotation and move your playhead in the end maybe a little bit far away and lower down the scale value to something like this 87 and now if we'll play it then you can see but animation is little slow let's close the gap of rotation now select both of these keyframes right click auto bezier click on the rotation and click on this handle and make the graph like this as we did earlier now if we play it all right this gives a cool rotation to this and then it zooms out so select 
these two keyframes as well and select the auto bezier that's enough for this one and if you think this is too early so you can move this rotation even further something like this all right and the moment it changes to money we'll introduce the andrew tate here so find this find the andrew tate image and drag it over here and rescale it and reposition it wherever you want something like over here and make a cut after few frames and then we will bring it down and keep the rest on the top so the moment it comes it comes out of this money glitch and go inside this nest while double clicking it and in the starting we can use the ripple edit tool and close its cap to something like this so that it just happens little faster or quicker now let's see if we play it you can see and the moment money comes in let's bring in the andrew tate and this one closer yes money glitch now we will drop 360 transform effect on both of these layers on the andrew tate and select the first one go in the starting and in the effects control panel add a keyframe on scale move little bit later and change it to 90 and now select the second one and go in the beginning and we'll start from the 90 so first keyframe would be of 90 because we ended with the 90 in the previous part and this is going to be something like this okay now we are going to add the fire particles to this find the fire particles in the assets folder drop it over here on the top of this and change its rotation to 90 degree because that way it would be fit over here and right click and click on the scale to frame size that way it would fit it and change its layer plan mode to screen from the effects control panel and at this time it's going from the top so we'll rotate it to minus 90 degree let's see and boom this is happening from here and we'll bring this in the starting and if you want you can start it from the you can just trim down and bring it further so that fire particles start immediately something like this all right so we forgot to add the zoom out on the first text so we'll go to the effects control panel and click to create a keyframe on the scale and we will move in the end and bring down the scale to something like this and if we play it now yes now it's time to create our next scene now let's cut down the rest of the part because we don't need this anymore select and delete all these and now let's take the type tool once again and type you are broke same styling would be applied to this as we have done this earlier and let's reposition it something like this and now let's take the andrew tate video and remove its green background i've already removed it and if you want to learn how to remove that just check out my other video and you can reposition it wherever you want if you want you can make it little larger and move the andrew a little bit something over here and it's like this and let's cut rest of the text because we no longer need it so our basic scene setup is ready now we are going to spice it up with transitions so let's add the transitions first transition would be over here the moment this text ends and for this we will be using this one this is also in the assets folder just drag it over here something like this and trim it and let's see how it looks okay this is good and let's bring it down under the text and move all these layers above make a room for this one bring it over here and let's scale it a little bit if you want and let's change its color to green as well so go to the effects control panel and drop the tint effect over here and now come to the effects control panel and change white to green let's take this green color this time less saturated so that it doesn't overtake it or maybe something like this all right that's fine and if you play it so that gives you a sort of glitchy feeling and this comes and shoot it and now we are going to add second transition over here and for this we will be using this transition so drag this overlay over here and then cut it or trim it out to keep only certain part something like this so let's scale it up to fill the frame so scale it that's fine and change this blend mode to screen that way black background would be out and now if we play it and we need to add some movement to this as well so select you are broke and the andrew tate text and right click and nest them and call it and view okay and drop 360 transform effect on this move your playhead in the beginning and 
move your playhead something like over here the moment it comes here and go to the effects control panel add one keyframe on the position add one on the rotation and move your playhead in the beginning and change its rotation to something like maybe 8 or 9 degree and then move its position out of the frame so take the x position and bring it something like this and then select all the keyframes right click auto bezier and change these graphs by grabbing these helder to something like this and do the same for the rotation as well select these and make it something like this and now if we play it and if you think that it comes too early so you can just increase the width of these rotation or position keyframe to few frames and if we play it all right and there is one thing which we need to do that we need to bring it to the first text and then extend it to something like this now one last thing needs to be done and that is go to the effects control and search for vr glow effect and drop it over all the text so drop it our first text and go to the effects control panel search for the vr glow effect and just lower down the luma threshold to zero zero increase the glow radius and in increase the brightness to something like this and now you can copy this glow effect and place it all of your text and here is our final result And if you want to learn more cool wheel editing techniques, make sure you check out this playlist.